As you know, I'm Kaimson, the tech pro, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect Node.js to MySQL database. So here is MySQL uh, Workbench. So I have a database in MySQL. So let me just show you. So I have a database API DB, and inside it, we have one table called TBL user. So I'm just going to select all the rows, and you can see that we have three items right here. So we're going to connect uh, Node.js to this database here and display the data. So I'm gonna start from the scratch. So please subscribe if you've not sub subscribed. So I'm gonna just say new, I'm gonna just uh, come to say uh, open folder. So um, how about just create, creating a new folder where I'm gonna put all my files. So let me just say node MySQL. So let me call it node MySQL. I'm gonna just say open. So I have not MySQL and I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it database.js, as you can see right here. So the first thing you want to do is to go to terminal if you are using a VS Code and we are going to install um, MySQL package. So you're going to say npm install MySQL because that is the package you're going to use to connect node.js to MySQL. Again, make sure you have node.js in your system. So if you say node minus minus version, I think that's correct. You can see I have 14.4.0. That's a version of node.js I have. So if you are in the, if you've come to this point, that is great. So normally you are going to create a, a pool or a connection. Normally I like creating a pool. So I'm going to say const. Let me see if I can make the window a little larger. Uh, let me see. Okay, okay, perfect. So const, I'm gonna call it create pool. And I'm going to say require, that's what you need to do to be able to use MySQL uh, package. So you're gonna say require MySQL. Okay, perfect. And the next thing you wanna now do is to assign the pool, the connection parameter. So I'm gonna say const, uh, const uh, pool equal to create pool as uh, the create pool we define and we need to specify a uh, connection object with parameters of host and the host is going to be local host and the next thing we want to specify the user is going to be root and I use a password now feel free to look at my password because that is not a problem Password is going to be root user. I think I'm getting it correct. Okay. And finally, uh, connection limit. I think this is optional, but I normally like to specify maybe 10 or something. This is completely optional. All right. So we've created the connection pool. We are going to use this connection pool now to query data from my uh, from my SQL. So you're going to say you're going to say pool .query and write your SQL statement. So I'm going to use backticks, backticks, and write select star from, you specify the name of the table. However, you need to specify the name of the database as well as the name of the table. So if you look at Workbench, you see the name of the database and, and, the, name, and the name of the table as well. So let's just write it exactly that way, API DB, dot users all right so now this pool dot query takes uh another uh, parameter which is a callback and this callback is going to take error and response or result so in case of if error of course we are going to display the error and if it returns data we are going to display the data so in this case let's just display the data that comes back by saying return console.log and specify the response. Now, I'm just, I just want to make it very easy so that if you now want to check for error, you can say if error, and then you, uh, you now display some error message. So I'm going to say save. So let's run this code by saying, um, I'm going to just say node database.js. So now you can see that it displays the three records we have Kainton, Mila, and, a, and another name, AZ. So you can see how to connect MySQL database to Node.js and show data. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to be doing other databases. Let me just show you 
um, like uh, PostgreSQL, H2DB, HSQL, MSSQL. I'm going to be doing this in this series. So please subscribe and also leave me a comment, like and share this video. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.